I think it's important to stress the reforms that we have seen so far have not uh, been um, entrenched in, in law. So there have been no legal or constitutional reforms which either reduce the power of the military or indeed make Burma more democratic. So these are welcome first stages, but it is a very, very long way from uh, anything uh, closely uh, approximating democracy. And I think one of the cautions for the international community is that, uh, you know, is this a transition to democracy that we're witnessing? Because if we look at what has happened, um, you know, we've had a, a rigged election in 2010, which brought in a constitution drafted by the military dictatorship, uh, which is completely anti-democratic. Um, and we have President Thane Thane, who's been at the heart of the military dictatorship for 40 years, including a role in uh, crushing the uh, democracy movement in, in 1988. And all the repressive laws are still on the books. We haven't had any constitutional review. Um, there are still hundreds of political prisoners. There are still serious human rights abuses that are, you know, could be classified as war crimes and crimes against humanity. And the government is not actually engaged in any serious dialogue to, um, to, to amend this, to amend the constitution, to make Burma more democratic. And the fear is that rather than a transition to democracy, what we're actually witnessing is a transition to a sort of normal authoritarian state uh, along the lines of Russia and China, where there's maybe a little bit more political space, but actually the, the economic and political power remains where it always has done in, with the military and, and those former military rulers.